Welcome to Bobby Osinski's Inner Circle. I'm Bobby Osinski, and this is a show all about music, music production, and the music business. My guest today is editorial director for Sweetwater, Mitch Gallagher. But first of all, I bet you didn't know, but Spotify actually does play music videos. And that's the source of some sort of tension between the publishers, record labels, and Spotify. There's actually a lot of tension these days between Spotify and the record labels. And a lot of that comes from the fact that Spotify has tried to do direct deals with both artists and indie labels. That would mean that that the major labels are being cut out, so they're not too happy about that. Of course, what's going to happen relatively soon is the fact that what we're going to see is a renegotiation of the terms of the licensing agreements that they have. So that means that up until then, there's a lot of tension until they actually get that out of the way. But when it comes to music videos, one of the big problems is the fact that Spotify is not actually paying the music publishers. One of the reasons why is Spotify has a tendency to experiment with features. And they roll them out before they tell anybody. And then they go back later and they try to get permission to do so and work out a licensing scheme. And they haven't really done it in the case of music videos. So everybody's a little testy because of this. Because, let's face it, that means the publishers and songwriters are not getting paid from Spotify music videos. Now, even though they don't make up a great number of the activity on Spotify, music videos are important. And they're especially important to some playlists, especially the big ones. Rap Caviar is a big one where music videos really do make a big impact on it. So, in fact, this is something that everybody is worried about, wondering about, and wondering how it's going to make an impact on the next round of contract talks that should be happening relatively soon. So, if you haven't watched any videos on Spotify, go check them out just like watching them anywhere else, but it's a little bit more convenient, I think, than it is on YouTube, especially when you're trying to find something new. So anyway, Spotify videos and the war around them. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to questions at bobbyowinnercircle.com. Just a heads up that my new book, The Music Business Advice Book, is now available and was the number one seller on the Amazon Music Business Books chart. It's comprised of 150 immediately useful tips compiled from the interviews from this podcast. 